quick tutorial on how to use the Raptor. Um, so in, for substitute, substitute or any security for that matter, um, this is the computer that's connected to the Raptor system. It's the one that's on the, I guess, southeast corner. So um, step one, you've got to log in to the computer, and I'm just going to use my login name, which you can use yours or the substitute security one. And pretty soon you'll see it pops open. And uh, this is the Raptor. And the Raptor, by the way, is to... Uh, uh, screen visitors for sex offender and so I opened up Raptor and there it is username and password and you can find the username and password in the sub folder uh, I'm not going to say what it is uh, I'm going to put the phone down real quickly you'll see it's going to black out for a moment as I sign in so just give me a very quick second thank you And so you don't think I've disappeared, uh, I'm just typing here. Yeah, I'm still doing it, sorry guys, a little slow. Uh, I'm nervous because I know you guys are patiently waiting at an empty screen. So I apologize for that, and uh, maybe next time I'll, I'll do a more professional and slick uh, broadcast. But right now, it is what it is. All right, so now it's logged on, and this is the Raptor screen, and for your purposes and security, really the only, I, only tab that matters is this one, the visitors, and then if you look at the menu, sign in visitors, view visitors, search visitors, you just want to sign in, so we'll open that. Here it is, and uh, today I'll be your visitor, so you take their driver's license, and you're gonna wanna put it face down, and oh, look at this menu. The scan button is what you're interested in, um, or submit and print, but we'll do the scan. So I'm going to place it face down in the right-hand corner, just kind of wedge it in there a little bit. Sometimes it's temperamental. I am, and then I'll say scan or press scan, there it is. I kind of had to feed it just a little bit. And now you can tell it's scanning my license. There I am. And for some reason it has the wrong date of birth, uh, 1915. I would say I'm holding up pretty well, but I know from experience I have to put in the correct date of birth, so I'll you know, self-disclose. That's my birth year. And then Submit and print. Now you saw that note section. If there was some issue, then uh, it would come up in the notes. But fortunately, there aren't any issues. Woo! And I got my visitor badge. And that's it. We taught you how to do that in 3 minutes and 35 seconds. Have a great day.